the first Sabbath of every November, the International Ministerial Congress of the Church of God Seventh Day around the world celebrates and proclaims the name of Jesus Christ in a very unique way that's unique to our part of the body of Christ. The Church of God Seventh Day, the International Ministerial Congress, is represented in 60 countries, of which 45 are members. And so within our church body, we experience and celebrate a variety of languages, cultures and customs, ethnicity and the diversity amidst one Lord, one faith, one gospel, and one hope and one baptism. And so on this particular Sabbath, the 6th of November, 2021, we recognize the journey that God has brought us together and the purpose of the International Ministerial Congress is to work towards doctrinal unity, is to help foster coordinated evangelism and mission outreach, to provide pastoral training and church development as well as the move the church forward in whatever way we can in the mission and the calling and the purpose of Jesus Christ that he established some 2,000 years ago. The theme of this year's celebration is continuing the mission of Jesus. And so we will explore on this Sabbath what that looks like. What was the mission of Jesus? And what is our stewardship and our role in participating effectively as good stewards in the name of Jesus. We remember that Jesus told us, because of all authority in heaven and earth has been given to him, that we are to go, that we are to baptize in his name. And this sense of going would stem out from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the ends of the earth. And coincidentally, I'm talking to you today from the ends of the earth, I live near Perth in Western Australia, the world's most isolated capital city. So today, we live in an age of mass communication and travel where the gospel has literally traveled to every corner of the earth. And yet, 2000 years ago, we hold dear the commission, the purpose and the mission of Jesus that he initiated. Jesus was in Nazareth, he was in the synagogue, and he was handed the book of Isaiah. He unrolled that scroll to where we read in Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Quoting from Isaiah, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, read Jesus, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind and to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. And today this stewardship has been entrusted to us, to preach the word in season and out of season, to continue to share the good news that centres on Jesus with a renewed sense of joy and mission. So the mission of Jesus stems from his death and resurrection, and what the forgiveness of sins and the reconciling nature of all people to God. We really hold dear this in this part of the body of Christ, the hope and aspiration that one day every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. And we look forward to that day becoming reality. But between now and then, brothers and sisters, we have work to do, a high and noble calling only made possible by the work of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. So this Sabbath we'll explore what the mission of Jesus looks like and what that stewardship means for you and me today. So on behalf of the International Ministerial Congress, on behalf of the Church of God Seventh Day around the world, in the name of Jesus Christ, may we truly be a people born for such a time as this proclaiming and celebrating and living the mission of Jesus Christ.